In days of yore, when shadows darkly crept, a warrior bold, Van Avon Blacked arose. His quest, a conquest vast, the planet to bind, to shackle all lands, equality in chains to find. Elves and minotaurs, allies strange and fair, bestowed upon him secrets, Nordic and Gnostic rare. Whispers of runes from wise men's aged breath, Van Avon learned the arts that led to death. A religion forged in his image to praise, enslaving the minds, the people in a daze. With blade unsheathed, he cut through descent, oppression his alley, in every land it went. Necromantic tomes, wicked spells he'd wield, raising the dead on his enemies to yield. Snakes summoned forth, their venom to reign, Persians and Romanians' children in disdain. Ancient temples ablaze, his fury did ignite, their defiance condemned, lost in the fiery night. Sky fell as angels wept, casting ravens black to peck at Van Avon's eyes, attack after attack. Yet blinded, not weakened, the warrior stood tall against angels' onslaught in the celestial brawl. Ripping off their wings with strength untold, trapping them on earth, the angels' fate foretold. Laughter echoed as unborn Persians he'd feast. A celebration vile, Van Avon's power increased. The end drew near, in shadows he'd revel. A tyrant's tale, a saga most malevolent. In the duskened depths of Dunthran, Van Avon, a stout-hearted warrior, did venture forth against the twisted entities known as Cephalomots. Clad in armor radiant as the moon's glow, his raven locks flowing like Valkyrie strands, he wielded a sword wrought in the fires celestial, akin to those of Asgard. His gaze, deep and resolute, held echoes of realms long forgotten. To the nethermost abyss of hell did he tread, where the very earth quaked beneath the weight of malevolence. There the Cephalomots, progeny akin to the cosmic serpents of Norse myth, tormented the Dark Elves in ways mirroring the wails of the damned in Gnostic tales. The Cephalomots, vile whisperers of secrets dark, drove the Elves to madness in the Stygian depths. Van Avon, invoking dark enchantments and drawing upon divine might reminiscent of ancient Hindu deities, clashed with these entities in a celestial ballot of shadows and ethereal forces. As the strife unfolded, the Cephalomot women, ethereal yet tainted by shadow, yielded to the allure of Van Avon's divine essence. The unholy union begat creatures of malevolent hunger, akin to the Rakshasas of Hindu lore, lusting for the flesh of mortals. With his monstrous progeny in tow, Van Avon descended upon the Persians as a malevolent force unbridled from ancient epics. The gods, as distant watchers akin to Norse myth, beheld with consternation the chaos unfurling across the mortal realm. In response, celestial cherubim, their wings ablaze with divine wrath, descended upon Dunthran, Nightmarish and vengeful, they sought to quell the malevolence birthed by Van Avon's unholy actions. Yet, the Cephalomots, weaving threads akin to the Norns of old, overpowered the celestial beings, claiming their wings as trophies. The fallen Cherubim, bereft of celestial grace, became slaves in the cosmic dance of suffering. Their wings, symbols erstwhile of divine majesty, became ingredients in the macabre recipes of Dunthran. The gods attempt to intervene as cosmic cycles in Hindu cosmology birthed unintended consequences as a malevolent force threatened to unravel the very tapestry of existence.
someone by the name of Rabid Waffles, who I actually know about because I did a video responding to one of their videos two years back, which we will explain later. They comment, Valerie Flowers is the best YouTuber. I'm his biggest fan. He really entertains me with his videos. What a guy. Hilarious and original. <laughs> <laughs>